Oh yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video here. I just built this today, and I wanted to show you. Uh, and the video is probably going to be called Quick and Dirty Sawtail, because I did this in probably an hour and a half, and it came out uh, looking relatively good. So, those things I did was cut one, two, three, and four uh, pieces. Now, this is a three-eighths dowel. The rest of them were three-quarter by one and a half. I think that's half by one and a half. But otherwise, I cut those. Then out of a 1 by 11, which is 3 quarter by, I don't know, it was like 11 and a quarter, I guess it'd be a 1 by 12, I cut these sides, which you can see, just kind of slope up, and stop at the top, I cut out little dados for the sides, you might be able to see that kind of fits inside, and then this fits into the bottom like so, and the dowels fit through the side, you can't see from that side, you can see over here, if I move the uh, plane you can see it, so, and that's that. Now, if I was to do it again, I would move the dowel in about another inch that way, because right now, it's kind of in a bad spot. I put it at 6 inches from the back, and it really should have been at 5. But it's it's alright where it is. Now, again, this is made to hold saws, so I can put my saws in here, pull one out, uh, and now I have a saw to use. And that's what it's made for. Oh, but you can also hang other tools off of it. So like I did down here, I put some eye hooks. I have my draw knife, uh, an old plane that uh, we really don't use, a hammer, my mallet, and then the two planes I do use the most I kind of have on the side. I just hung that with three two and a half inch uh, screws. You can see one, two, and three. Uh, that's just how I hung it. Uh, these joints are just glue and two like little brad nails and that holds it just fine there's actually a lot of weight on this but it's very sturdy you see you can't really you can wiggle it but it's not really gonna fall down uh, and this was just to get some of the stuff out of the way and up kind of more into view where I could see it and grab it a little bit easier and again it was very fast to make it didn't take me very long um, and so I think it came out very nice now I put all the tools I'm going to use most often uh, right here, and I did hang this as well with again three two and a half inch screws just into the side of the stylus here. And this is very sturdy as well. I can't move that, I'm pushing down on it, you can't see, but they, there's a lot of weight on both of them, much more weight on this side. Just really these two planes alone, probably 25 or 30 pounds of steel on the side. So there's certainly a lot of weight on this, and it's very sturdy, it's holding up just fine. And so I put my most used tools here so I can grab them a little bit easier. All my other tools are in here. So if I need... Let me actually unscrew the top of this. It's going to make the light a little bit better. But I put all my other tools in here because I can just kind of grab them out of the top of this toolbox here. Uh, but if I really needed uh, any of the other tools, I just have them in the bottom side of the toolbox. So I just have some of the small stuff here in case I need it. And then in here I have all my bigger stuff. Uh, that I might want, uh, uh, but I don't use it all the time. I just put the stuff I use kind of all the time on this shelf. Now this side, uh, I hung it just with uh, some wire and two and a screw, and then it just fits onto the side there. Down here again is just wire on an eye hook, and I just have this mallet on a open eye hook. And that's just how I hung that. This is just on shelves. These shelves actually move. You can see I can move all of these shelves. Uh, and so that's kind of what I did. I kind of have layout up here. This is sharpening. This is chisels and like wood putty. And then these are two smaller planes and another square. Uh, and that's that. And even if I wanted to, I could put more tools on this side. And I could put more stuff up here and on the side here. So there's certainly still room for that. There's still room for what, four more saws, uh, so there's certainly still more room to, to put stuff, and I also still have all these drawers down here, but that was just to get it out of the way, so that there would be more room uh, for this bench, so I'm going to move this bench over a little bit, but now I have a little bit more space, you see storage over here, workbench over here, and we also have a little bit more space on this workbench now that we've moved that cabinet, um, there's also more space on the bottom, so this is kind of how it looks from further away, that's the whole thing, um, and it came out pretty well. It wasn't meant to be, you know, a, a great, you know, kind of thing. Uh, make it a little special, a little fancy. It was just meant to to work, to function, you know, hold some tools, get them out of the way. 
So I'll tell you the dimensions of this saw till. I have it set so I can hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight saws. Uh, but you could certainly change that if your saws are a little bit thinner. Like if all your saws are that thin, then you could put more. But uh, some of these are a little bit thicker. Um, so the dimensions here: it's two feet tall, 15 inches wide, and nine inches deep at the base, two inches deep at the top. Uh, and I did that because I, I knew I wanted it two feet tall, and then I used the golden ratio to do them and everything else. Golden ratio of that would be 15, and then of that is 9. And that's how I got that size, and I think the size looks good. It's certainly not, uh, you know, uh, certainly doesn't look bad. And how I ended up doing it was cut out the, um, cut out, well I cut out everything for it. It's the wall 15 inches, so I cut out all of that, and then I cut these out of a 1 by 12 over there you can see that the base, the 1x12 um, and then I'm not actually going to zoom in on that when I'm talking that 1x12 used that um, and so once I, I cut that shape out of it because 2x9 you can cut that 2 plus 10 2 plus 9 is 11 and that was about 11 and a quarter so I cut that out with a hand saw, used a cross cut saw, cut that out and then lined up the bottom planed the top flush, planed the bottom flush, planed the end flush uh, and then I uh, kept those kind of clamped together and I was able to cut out the dados and drill the holes so that they lined up really well uh, and that's just how I did that and the next project I'm going to be doing is this here, it's going to be a headphone stand I cut this a while ago, it was three 2 by 6s but uh, I never finished it, so that's going to be a headphone stand that's going to be on the side. That's the shape I'm going to cut out. I just haven't done that yet, but quick and dirty saw till. How to do it, what it looks like, how I used it. Now, I put those tools on the bottom. Originally, these planes were going to hang on the base, but uh, this this uh, saw is this saw. This this plane is actually quite heavy. This is my joiner on the side. See, it's very long. So to be able to hang that off of here, I would have had to hang this up you know, another, like, foot. Uh, so I just put those on the side. Could have hung that plane on the bottom, but I liked how the joiner looked on the side so much that I ended up just putting them both on the side. And that's that's how that works. Um, I guess that's that. I'll see you guys in the next episode again. Next up is going to be a headphone stand. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching.